For the past three episodes, we all had a very memorable adventure in Singapore. For this episode, we're traveling to an Asian country west of the Philippines, Vietnam. We're flying to Ho Chi Minh City with Cebu Pacific, and the flight will take three hours. Hey guys, we just landed in Vietnam! We are in the cockpit with, of course, our pilots who took us here. Babalik na sila ng Manila after an hour. This is the first time that I've been here. Formerly known as Saigon, Ho Chi Minh is one of the largest cities in Vietnam. Feel the excitement as we tour around their bustling markets, be one with the locals as we ride motorcycles, be captivated by their tranquil pagodas, and savor their unique local cuisines. So buckle up and get ready for an epic journey through the heart and soul of Ho Chi Minh City. Let's unravel the hidden gems, taste the epic flavors, and experience the rich history of this captivating city. It's a new day and we're starting off with a very chill one. No fixed itinerary. Basically, we're just getting lost in this historic Asian city, Ho Chi Minh. Let's start off with a book street here in Ho Chi Minh City. The book street here in Ho Chi Minh. So we are in Vietnam and of course because I love books, ito magiging una nating destination amongst a lot more activities. Let's see what, what else is here. Maybe there's a coffee shop where we could get coffee and, and try their local coffee shops here. It's what you do. Okay guys, nasamin na yung coffee namin. Siyempre, pupunta pa tayo ng Vietnam na hindi nag-order ng Vietnamese latte. Pero in order ko is regular latte. Mmm! Yeah. Ang top. Pero actually, yun naman kasi yata talaga yung Vietnamese coffee, di ba? Oh. So parang isang sip, one day kang gising. Oh. I think that's really the purpose kasi kanina, nung nag-in-room dining ako, I wanted to get coffee. I ended up with latte kasi na-intimidate ako sa nasak- nakasulat sa menu. Ang sabi niya, Vietnamese latte, tapos open, close parenthesis, wake up call. Ang tawag nila sa coffee. So feeling ko, you know, it's really something that they drink when they need that super hard kick during the day. So nagka-coffee lang tayo. And if you want to get some updates, please check us out at Juju on the Go TV on IG. Now, we are currently booking some activities. Kung hindi nyo alam, this Vietnam trip, we planned this about three days ago. And that's that's how we are with Juju on the go. Just like to fly as soon as we have an idea of where to go. And kapag may nag-strike sa amin na parang very interesting, binubook na namin yan agad. It takes time, of course, to book some tours. And medyo naging challenging ang pagbook ng activities. But super grateful to the Kluk team because pinadali nila sa amin yung pagbook ng mga activities and tours, even rides. Nagbo-book lang ako ng activity for tomorrow. We're just booking. Pulang na lang tayo ng isang activity for tomorrow. Kita kong itong Saigon Princess Cruise in Ho Chi Minh City. Interesting. Two-hour duration. And very affordable. It's 1,686 pesos. Ang ganda! The food looks super good. Okay, ibo-book na natin yan para meron na tayong activity for tomorrow's dinner. Now that we're done fueling up ourselves with coffee, let's now head to our next quick stop. 
We are on our way now to, it's called the Tan Din Church. It's actually a church that's color pink. And right now, I'm research ko kung ano yung history niya because on our first day, it's really about just discovering just a little bit getting lost in the city of Ho Chi Minh. Discovering things. For today, wala tayong kasama na pwedeng mag-explain sa atin talaga ng, ng history ng bawat lugar na pinupuntahan natin. But that's the point of day one is just really getting lost in Vietnam or getting lost in Ho Chi Minh. So a little bit of backstory sa Tandin Church, a church that was built during the French colonial period in the 1870s. It's it's really nice and alam niyo personally, pinili ko talaga yung Ho Chi Minh City because of how rich it is in history. I've heard a lot of stories of this city during the war, of course, and so excited to learn more about Ho Chi Minh City. But for today, it's just about getting lost and learning things as we go. So I'm excited. It's a fresh new take on Juju on the go. Let's see what else we'll find out. Behind us right now is the Tan Din Church. This was built in the 1870s. Today is actually a Sunday, so merong mass. So we weren't allowed to go in, but it's just nice to see it and we wanted to share it with you guys. Look how beautiful it is. We are now headed to the Bentan Market, which is also known as the biggest and the most authentic market that they have here. They also call it the tourist market. I guess it's because they have a lot of options for souvenirs. You know, I've been to a lot of markets, especially in in Bangkok. This is kind of similar to that because you know how in Bangkok, it's like everything and anything, you'll find it in that market. So it's the same with Bentan. It's not only food na makikita natin doon. Merong furniture, my kitchenware, my clothes, absolutely anything and everything. And I only learned about this mga five minutes ago. Kasi rin research namin and we do like going to markets like this because syempre pag umaalis tayo ng bansa, ang hinihingi ng pamilya natin ay souvenirs. So I feel like this is the right spot to go para makuha na natin yung souvenirs na yun. We'll see how it looks and how how different it is from, you know, the markets that I've been to in Bangkok. Sabi ko, para para tayong locals. I'm so tempted to get one. Ito yung gusto kong suotin. Kasha sa akin to, no? Okay, how much? Oh, oh salama! Come, Come on! on. <laughs> How much? One hundred thirty thousand. Mahal, Jokla. Salama. Come on! What? Oh, thank you so much. Dep. 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 Oh, thanks. Dep means beautiful. Thank you for my shorts. I'll wear them tonight. So, where's your food? Your food, yung gusto natin makita. Halos, ano-ano, pare-parehas. Usually, gano'n naman talaga sa markets. Really reminds me of Davao. Amoy na amoy. Hello. Thank you so much. Hello, hello. Marami. Ito na yung pinaka-ano nila, parang food court. Sa side na to. You know what this reminds me? Yung mga nagbebenta ng food sa hawkers. Yung parang dito ka kumain, dito ako kumuha ng pagkain. Uy, may crystal. Tama nga ang sinabi nila. Anything and everywhere in this market. Ang laki ng market na to. Tama nga, pang tourists siya. Kasi ang dami din natin nakikita ang ibang tourists na um, bumibili ng mga souvenir. Pero kasi, first full day pa lang natin to eh. So, souvenir day, usually ginagawa namin yun ng mga last day. Oo, dito nga tayo galing. Sa last day na ako, bibili ng souvenir for Eric. Hi, Bunny! I'm gonna get you something. Gusto niya lang any kind of souvenir. So, nung nag-Singapore kami, I got her a very bejeweled merlion na super cute. Bagay na bagay sa kanya. Okay, you guys. 
Okay, so you saw a bit of a um, snippet inside of Bantan Market. Truly enjoyed because everybody's so nice and warm inside. And um, nakabili tayo ng a couple of souvenirs and I even got shorts na pwede kong suotin during our stay here. So nakita nyo naman, everything and anything is here in this market from clothes to food to drinks, to souvenirs, to jewelry, everything is here. It really is a tourist market and ang dami natin nakitang turista dito na nagsha-shopping din. So, um, that's just a little bit of a snippet. Um, uwi muna tayo sa hotel, magpalit tayo because we have a long night ahead of us. Alright you guys, so after a quick change, nag-change na ako sa shorts na binili ko kanina sa market, sobrang press ko. It's actually good quality and Malambot siya. Feeling ko ready na ako sa pupuntahan natin na strip tonight which we're gonna share with you guys in a bit. But first, pupunta tayo ng Little Tokyo and, and see what's there and probably get a little something to eat kasi gutom na kami. Okay. Tara, hanap tayo. Okay, walk lang muna. Let's see kung ano pang meron sila Izakaya. I'm in Vietnam, guys. Pero parang pang ano yung suot ko? Thailand. I think somewhere here we can eat na. It's a nice area. My barber shop, my nail salon, my massage, and daming restaurant. Ato kaya Japanese barbecue. Tara. Let's see what they have. There's a street here in Ho Chi Minh where you can find a lot of Japanese restaurants and they call this Little Tokyo. Okay, we are all full because we all just had dinner here in Little Tokyo. What we're going to be doing now is transfer to this place called Bovien. It is a street perfect for the young generation, um, the youth, for the tourists. The most famous street here in Ho Chi Minh is the street called Bui Vien. There are a lot of eye-catching neon signages and spotlights dancing to the music, and we even met Filipino performers in one of the pubs. There's many ways to be happy. Walking Street is the go-to place for locals and tourists to come eat and hang out. The street is also called Pho Thai, referring to its Western culture-orientated features. So what you just saw is what you call the Bovien Walking Street. And pagkapasok na pagkapasok ko pa lang, it just felt like expensive candy all over again. So nakakatuwang makita yung side na yun ng Vietnam na almost same as where we shot expensive candy. Super interesting. Um, but right now, we're in the calmer area. I'm sure you guys saw how busy the streets, how, how busy the street is. Um, we're just gonna find some place to have like two glasses of something and then head home because we have such an early day tomorrow. small pub called The Bar and we ordered a few shots and we easily got carried away with the music and the drinks but we got a control. We have an early day tomorrow so we have to go back to the hotel right away. Hey guys, good morning. It's our second full day here in Ho Chi Minh City and because I'm a time tour guide. And, but of course, to get the full experience here in um, Ho Chi Minh City, we saw that there were so many people who were riding. So today I'm excited because we're going to be able to ride on a motorbike. So we're taking the tour on a motorbike and it's going to really make us feel like local. So we've had breakfast and we're ready for the entire day. So let's get started. I'm 
na nako. Ngayon, mas marami na palang motorbikes dito sa Vietnam kaysa sa cars. So like 9 million motorbikes, right? Yeah, right. So right now, we are in the Jayden Embro Bagoda. And first, I want to tell you, uh, if you want to go to the uh, Bagoda, you have to wear a mask oh, okay. when you come here, yes. Okay. Have you heard about um, Barack Obama? Yeah. The president? Yeah, he came here. He came here. He came here in 2006. Wow. His work came here in 2006. So yes. this is a Chinese temple That's and right, it's a Chinese very, temple. very famous temple. That's right, very famous temple. If you pray in here, you will be very lucky. And also the people in here, they are going in this uh, temple for praying for the money, for healthy. Praying for money, health, yeah, health blessings, business, blessings, everything. Right, business and everything in here. You don't have a uh, grass. You were going here, you praying, and one month more, you will have. When you yeah, have a crush <laughs> down, you pray here, one month later, kayo na. Like that, that, that you'll be together yeah, one right. month later. That's right, yes. that's right. Uh, first, I want to show you, do you know what it is? What is that? When we are dead, we are believe it, they have another life. So oh, we are. Life. So we're using the fake paper, fake money, fake car, we use to burn. Burn this one in here. That's right, for the people, dead people on their life. This temple is apparently already 100 years old. The Jade Emperor Pagoda is a significant religious and cultural site located in Ho Chi Minh City and was built in the early 20th century by Lu Min to honor the Jade Emperor, a revered deity in Taoism. We are in two days. The first day and the 15th. Mm -hmm. We are not eat our meat, not pork, not everything, no just talking. vegetables. So the name of the god is? Jaden. Jaden? Am I saying yeah. it right? Jaden. Jaden, yeah. Today, it stands as one of Vietnam's most significant Taoist pagodas. The pagoda is adorned with numerous sculptures and artworks depicting various mythological figures, gods, and heroes from Chinese and Vietnamese folklore. Kakape muna tayo. Hirap simula ng araw na walang kape. I was telling them, do you drink Vietnamese coffee all the time? Yeah. It's really strong, right? Yeah, it's really strong, and we will have a uh, one coffee in the last stop, later. in the tour later. Do you fall asleep even if you drink Vietnamese latte? Uh, no, I don't fall asleep. How about at night? No, also. No, no, no. We are, we are, actually we are drinking coffee every day. Okay, malakas nga confirm, malakas yung Vietnamese coffee. But now, sa trend daw yung coconut coffee. So, yun ang itatry natin. Baka sakaling mabuhayan tayo lang. Kahit konti lang. Walking street to. Pero dahil sobrang sikip na nga dito sa road. Minsan dito na lang sila dumadaan sa walking street. So kung naglalakad ka, just be alert. Mawalan ko kaya may Vietnamese coffee talaga. Dikit-dikit yung mga motor dito. Walang social distance. you guys so one five coconut coffee right lemon namely cafe this is we call is it back seal back seal back seal yeah this is like back seal back seal yeah this is like chinese name but this is our like we in here we have a condensed milk fresh milk and coffee okay so this is like a coffee for the people they don't drink so much coffee okay i just want a little bit this one looks then this is a coconut coffee they use for the smooth tea coconut rice coconut and coffee in here so it's okay if we don't mix uh yeah it's okay we don't mix yeah mm. yes. Mm. i love yeah, coconut you can try coconut right this is rice coconut rice coconut yes. Connect meal and uh, coffee. So right now, this is the trending yeah. viral coffee. That's right, it's a viral coffee the in here. Rice coconut coffee. That's right. It's so good, it's so good, good right? It's very so good. I'm sure that anong kape okay na ako. Pero ito, 10 over 10. In Saigon, this. In Saigon, this is uh, milk uh, cafe, sir. Milk coffee. Mm -hmm. Connect meal with coffee, yeah. And this one, back seal. We are now on our way 
to Notre Dame and the post office. Nag quick coffee break lang tayo kasi nahilo na ako sa anto kanina. So I feel more ready for our activities today. See you guys at Notre Dame. Notre Dame first. Pinag-uusapan namin yung weather. Para lang din daw siyang Pinas. Parang pagpa-December, medyo nagiging breezy. Notre Dame. Notre Dame. Notre Dame. But right now, it's unlucky because right now, the, and, under uh, construction. Notre Dame is uh, construction, so right, we cannot go in there. It's okay. Yes. Are and we allowed to go inside? We are allowed to the uh, uh, post office. So, welcome to the post office. So, how old is this building already? Uh, it's uh, already from 1886. 1886? 86, yeah, yeah, that's right. Wow. They have around three years for commit, uh, complete 18. Uh, 91 is three years for completing the Bude, uh, the boss office and the Notre Dame. 1891. 1891 is finished. Yeah, so three right now, three years to build. Yeah, three years to build. So right now it's around uh, 100 years. Over yes, 100 right. years. Uh, over 100 years. More than right. 100 years old. This post office. So it's already gone through a lot. And also, this is the famous one for the tourists that come in here to see. Designed by French architect Auguste Henri Vildu, the post office showcases a remarkable blend of Gothic, Renaissance, and French colonial architectural styles. After the war at 1975, at 30 April 1975, we have finished the war. And at 1975, July to uh, number two, July. Yes, July 19, 2nd. Se that's right, 1976. We are changing the name from Saigon to Ho Chi Minh. Ho Chi Minh, City. when that's you right. got your freedom from freedom. the war. That's right, freedom. So Ho Chi Minh wa became your what? Your leader yeah, after uh, the war? President. Yeah, like your leader, president. Leader. Yeah, like so leader. you named the city after your president, after the war? After, after, after the, war. the After the American after, took over? After the American over, yes, right. All right, guys. So the photo that is behind me right now, that's ac actually Ho Chi Minh. So they gave me a little bit of background how this city became Ho Chi Minh from Saigon. Originally, alam naman ng lahat Saigon talaga siya nung natapos na yung war, tas naging independent at nagkaroon na ng freedom yung Vietnam from Saigon. Pinalit nila ng Ho Chi Minh yung tawag dito sa city and Ho Chi Minh is their leader president and he's the one behind us right now. The Notre Dame is currently under construction so hindi talaga natin siya ma May ikutan at gusto namin siyang i-feature pero inaayo siya obviously. Where are we going next? The next stop we are going to uh, see the statue. Okay, papunta tayo ngayon sa statue of the man who burned himself in the street to protect his religion, which is Buddhism, sacrifice, and somewhat like a protest. So guys, on the motorcycle, this is the man who burned himself in the middle of the street. This is the street where it happened. And there are actually photographers who were able to really capture the moment. This is it. That's what happened. But it's hell, oh, the body is dead. His blood, but uh, his heart is not. Oh, whoa! His heart. Yeah. That's his heart. His heart. Yeah, we kept his heart in the temple. This is it. Oh my gosh! Yes. We have a story about this one. Like many soldiers, they are uh, attack a temple, and the Buddhists they are protect them, protect the temple, yeah. protect the people on the, in the temple. Yeah. He has to have standing for the Buddhist. Yeah. And he burned himself for show the American sees what they do with the Vietnam. So they really showed that to the Americans specifically. That's the Bale, yeah. parang siya yung story so na terrorize sila. This is how he intent they intentionally sent a message to the Americans so he burnt himself. And this these are the monks that were praying for him habang nangyayari to. And then ito nung nakuha na nila yung peace nila. So, you know, stop all forms of terrorizing and suppressing. In this
this episode of our Vietnam adventure, ang dami na natin agad na puntahan from different coffee shops, an enchanting pagoda, and notable historical landmarks. Definitely, this enchanting city has more to offer. For sure, nabitan kayo, but our Vietnam adventure doesn't stop here. There's more hidden gems and epic adventures that await us as we go along in this captivating city. See you next week, only here on Juju on the Go. You are already officially the co-host. Very light. I'm sure like people can finish. Cheers. Cheers. Today is the day. We'll, we'll see. Bye, guys. <laughs>